Hey you guys, this is Lori at TMI Gifts. Um, today I'm going to do a how-to how to video on a loop bow and we're going to do a Valentine's video. So a loop bow is, a, is not technically a bow that you're doing on like a bow maker, but a loop bow is just kind of loops and so that it kind of hangs down longer. So I've got this pretty heart ribbon right here. It's a white with a white glitter on it. I've already cut my dovetail on the end. Okay, so I'm gonna leave about a 26 inch tail, and there's no right or wrong. You can do a, a longest tail or short. Okay, I'm making a loop, okay? And the key to this is, is that I am gonna make sure that I twist so that my ribbon is all to the front, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail. And I want different lengths on this, so I'm not measuring this to the exact length of the other one because I want different lengths of it, okay? So I'm gonna take my next ribbon, which I'm gonna do this pretty horizontal stripe. I've already got a dovetail. I'm gonna do a tail at the top, loop, loop. Love sometimes when you use ribbon that is reversible or you've got a pattern on both sides, uh, the patterns on both sides so you don't have to really worry about it being to the front. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do one more tail to this. So let's put another tail on the top and then we're just gonna leave it down at the bottom. Dovetail, okay. I've already dovetailed this pretty heart right here. And I'm gonna do the heart at the top as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a tail just because the hearts are running this way. So I'm gonna do a loop and I'm gonna loop and I'm gonna cut a tail that's gonna be a little bit different length that's turned okay and then I'm gonna do one more loop this one's gonna be a little bit shorter of a tail here cut my dead tail Pretty. and I'm gonna do this one a little bit longer dovetail so there's all my loops I've got to dovetail this one and now all I'm going to do is make sure that I use a Chanel stem or a zip tie. And on this particular one, I'm going to do a zip tie. And when you're doing a loop bow, typically when you're putting this on your wreath, you just run another sh uh, Chanel stem or a zip tie through the top right here. Get that really tight. Cut that off. And so when you when you attach this to your wreath, it goes into your wreath really well. And so your bow will lay right. And then when you attach it on there, you just curl your ends the way you want to. Pull them out. There's your lip bow.